Uh, we told them just, again, how proud we were of them. Um, a, a great job, great game, uh, executing the game plan, and especially guys stepping up that uh, hadn't probably gotten a whole ton of playing time up to this point, but that that we needed some guys to step up, and they did that. And and so, um, you know, it, it was a crazy week, too, with we're going to play on Thursday. Well, then now we're going to play on Friday. And then all of a sudden, oh, well, we need to move it to Saturday. And so uh, we we adjusted um, the, the practice schedule basically three times throughout as far as what we were doing. Uh, we we kind of went Monday, did our normal – um Tuesday practice and then once we realized the game was Thursday that that we were gonna um or that's what we were doing Monday and so then we come back Tuesday and now we you know Thursday's no good anymore so we need to move it back um so we kind of had to adjust and and go on the fly and they just did a really good job of rolling with that and being ready um I knew we were in a good spot when Friday uh we went out to practice because we were making that our perfect practice and um the rain was still lingering around, but I come out of the school and walking down there and our guys are already geared up and ready to go like we normally do for Thursday practice. And, uh, you know, like like it's nothing. They're just they're, they were ready to play. And so I was real proud of them for that and, and told them that. And just then playing in, in basically a little bit different. I mean, it's like us for practice starting at four o'clock and being on our field. But um it is different. You can say what you want, but waking up and, and coming in here and as Coach Henderson put it, you you got to create your own juice, create your own energy for the game leading up. You're not around people all day at the school um, kind of talking and getting in your normal routine. But um, we, 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 we did really good. Uh, offensive line blocked well, defensive line and linebackers wreaked havoc and, and made plays when we needed to. And, and bottom line, want to know and uh, get, get to go to the next round. Just that we we consistently move the ball. Um, you know, we we sometimes will kind of see what – we, we kind of look at it from an aspect of what we do. We're not real sure what some teams are going to attempt to take away when we play them. So it's kind of us figuring that out early on and then rolling from there. So, um, you know, once once we figured that out, our guys then just started getting a hat for a hat blocking wise. And uh, Trey ran the ball really well again. Hammond Wren did a really good job of of running probably his best game as far as uh, uh, protecting the ball and and knowing when to get down and and all those things and just did a really good job of managing the game. So I was proud of him for doing that. Uh, and then we had some key receptions in the first half and, and produced points when we needed to. So um, – that's what you want at this point in the game because, I mean, each week or each, this point in the season that each week it's going to get a little tougher and and you it's just going to come down to which offenses execute better. And so I was just uh, uh, really proud of that and some guys that stepped up that hadn't been playing some positions on offense and did a really good job. Defense swarmed to the ball. They took pride in 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 our kind of rock'em, sock'em style of play. Um and similar to what we've done all season, we kind of settled down after the first drive, first quarter. Uh, it was a really tough test, their second drive, um, that they had the ball, I think, for like eight minutes. Um, we only ran five offensive plays in the first quarter. But they go down, and we got them to fourth and long, and then couldn't quite execute on that fourth and long, and they scored. But – uh, we've had that happen before to us that that we go down by a touchdown and our guys don't don't flinch, don't blink, and come right back. And so uh, defense from that point on did a, a really good job of creating turnovers and takeaways. Um, I mean, even on their first series that that they pick up a fourth down, but then our guys keep battling and knock the ball loose and we recover it. Um, then it was a team effort on. Uh, the first interception that Eli Sal bats the ball up in the air and then Devontae's right there to to uh, pick it off. And then we cash that in for points. And then coming back um, to start the um, third quarter, we, we went down and got inside the, the 10, inside the five, and couldn't quite finish off the drive. But our defense turns around and falls on a fumble in the end zone. And so we ended up getting, getting seven out of that. And um, – 
and then the last one to seal the deal that Fuller, he, I, he, I, I think he's probably the smartest football player I've ever coached, and he just knows where to be to make plays. And he did it again, even with his crazy uh, boxing glove on, just snatched it right out of the sky like it was, you know, just another day. Um, so just really proud of them being very opt- opportunistic and uh, putting our offense in position to uh, to score some points. Special teams did a did a really good job. We they, they had a couple of return guys that we were fairly nervous about as far as that you know we were we were paying attention to and whether we we're going to kick it to them or not. But uh, our cover teams did a really good job of running down there. Um, punt we only we punted one time again. Uh, maybe do a little better job on covering it to try to pin them inside the ten. Um, but you know if you're punting only one time a game, that that's that's really good. And then uh, field goal, we did a good job of getting the ball down and getting it up, uh, you know, kind of having to change some of the operation team on that. So um, they didn't punt it very often. So we didn't really get a whole lot of chance to uh, create some momentum off of pump block. But, uh, you know, again, we won more plays than they did on special teams. And that that's what it's about. Yeah, I, I, I think it's um, – Two things, and kind of to to that point is uh, one, yeah, we the so so far, and then even this week, the three teams we're going to have played in the playoffs this season, AJ has never played them, so we we uh, you know don't know what they're like, but yeah, the, the Timberland that we played last week is a tradition rich football team, always got some really good players. They won, I think it's two state championships. Uh, back in the early 2010s. And then um, Barnwell this week, they're another really tradition-rich team. They played for two state championships just a few years back. They've played for like seven or eight over the course of their school. They've won two or three. Um, so, you know, football is important at those places. And and uh, I think that's where, you, you know, we're, we're, football was really important here at AJ. A long time ago, back before I was born, and 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 then kind of it feels like it got important again, but uh, kind of has lost some of the enthusiasm. But everybody wants the football team to do well, so um, I thought I took that as a point of pride that when I when I took over as head coach, that we we try to instill that in our guys that football is important and has been important here, and so the expectation to win. And uh, these guys have have really developed that. It's you know taken a little bit of time to to get to that point, but I th- I think that's a bit of, of what it is. And then the other thing is this group, this team, has played a lot of football together. And and you go and look, especially um, at the two A level, that lots of times the teams that are playing for the big championship are teams that since youth football have played a lot together. Um, I always bring up with my brother-in-law, he coaches basketball, that was stat that I'd never really thought about for basketball. But the teams that make it far in the uh, the NCAA tournament are typically the teams that they're five uh, – they got a group of five uh, guys on, on the court that play a ton of minutes together per game. Like they average more minutes together. And so um, – I think that that's what it comes down to is just guys knowing each other and, and knowing um, what they need to do and being prepared. And, and our guys have really bought into that style, especially of the, the mental prep. And I think being aware of what the other team does well and trying to take that away from them. And then, you know, knowing where maybe a bit of what we need to work on and, and then really stressing that in practice and, and doing a good job. So um, yeah, it's, 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 that confidence is a big thing. And at this point, everybody's good. Like the, the talent's equal. So it's it's who's going to execute the most. And I think a lot of that depends on confidence. Um, just what we've been doing and and like I just mentioned, executing uh each each play. And and so our big thing has been for the past four weeks, has uh win more plays than them. And um, that's what it's come down to. And our, our guys, I've, I've started hearing more and more of them that um, thinking that that way. And so, um, you know, that's a good thing. If, if everybody's thinking the same, like it, it, it really helps with uh, confidence, but with just kind of the, the mojo on the team. And um, so we've just been paying attention to details like we do and um, – Keeping it the same is is, is kind of what, what we're doing, just making sure that our guys know what they need to do. 
uh, we, we've kind of limited contact as much because at this point it's, you know, win or go home. So uh, we, we can't be getting anybody banged up in practice. But at the same time, I think that's a big part of why we've been successful is the contact, but us adjusting that, you know, it's going to be that controlled uh, uh, aggression for shorter burst so that we can play the physical brand that we do when it becomes game time. Barnwell's a really good football team um, coached by a, a guy that probably be in the Hall of Fame for uh, South Carolina. Won a lot of football games, uh, won a lot there at Barnwell, but everywhere he's gone, he's uh, he's done a really good job of of uh, Coach Garrick of of winning. Uh, the one time I met him was actually when we he won the lower state and I won the upper state to a Coach of the Year back in 2019. That's the only time I've ended up meeting him, um, but uh, does a really good job. His guys are very disciplined. Uh, very sound in what they do on both sides of the ball. They got a really good running back, uh, similar to us. Uh, that, that's a senior number four. That uh, he he he. It's going to have to be eleven orange hats to the to him to bring him down. And um, their offensive line, they're going to do what they do as far as that they execute their plays very well. Um, and and they got a good group of seniors that play a lot of minutes for them. And that that's that's a big part of high school football. Um, and so, you know, defensively, they're gonna be similar to some of the fronts and kind of their linebackers, how they set up of what we've seen, but they, they're they a little more, try to create chaos, uh, move around a little bit more than some of the teams we've played against. But, uh, um, you know, they, they're, they're gonna be sound and and make good tackles. They're, they're a good tackling team, so, but, that's to be expected at this point. I mean, they didn't get to be undefeated just because they, they got a whole bunch of athletes. They, they're they a really good football team um, with with good athletes. And so, um, you know, these are the types of games, though, that, that we want to be in. And I'm excited about, and I told those guys that I just keep catching myself smiling that we're in the third round and that we get a shot to uh, prove ourselves again and, and just uh, uh, keep going and, and see how far we can go.